Caution, please mind the speed limit. Then we're going to put the old... Uh, oh, crap! <sighs> Took my eyes off the prize for a moment there. The scenery is spectacular. These drop-offs are insane. But we're going to put the, uh, the engine brake on. Not that, not that we really need it going uphill. But whenever you go uphill, you're always going to eventually have to come back down. If you look through the uh, the footwell window, if I get close enough, you can see just how far down that goes. Ah, I don't think I'm going to get it. No. The lookout. probably should have stopped for that but I'd actually like to uh, get this delivery done on time get some money in the bank look at that gonna have to do a tour of America one day okay the engine brakes work in a tree slowing us right down nice look at this Really nicely modelled. Maybe we just send the engine brake down a little bit. That's a bit too much. I'll take my foot off the accelerator. We nearly stop. Oh, we're going through a little tunnel here. Let's get some lights on. Ah, it's <laughs> not as intimidating a tunnel as I thought it was going to be. I bet it's fun driving these roads at night. Nearly crashed the truck, distracted by the wife. That's a river. Stay right, and then turn right.
Turn right. So which kind of trailer do you think I should buy, guys? Obviously, logging is a, a serious thing here. But this low loader flatbed thing that we've got on the back at the moment, obviously, they need to transport the vehicles around. That's another aspect that we can get into. Lots of options. Limited only, really, by the lack of money that we currently have. Maybe I could take a loan from the bank, invest in some property, get some employees, a second truck. I could speed our financial situation pretty quickly. Harley's over there, look. Come on, truck in front, goodness sakes. It's 35 here, man, come on. Wow, look at the traffic. One of the other mods that I've installed is the um, realistic traffic Day mod. Night. And you can yeah, see how right. busy it is over there. It's absolutely kicking my FPS's butt at the moment. We're down to 25 That's FPS. Right. 25 FPS there for a moment. But there's an awful lot going on. So we're back up to 36 now. Ideally, I'd like to be in the 60 range but I think it's still playable at 34 in, a, in, a, in an incredibly dense area come on lights Please change, please change, please change, please change, please, please. Ah. Little shepherds, huh? Turn the retarder off. Come on, turn the retarder off. Go straight. Pretty cool. Looks so authentic, I've got to say. Just so busy. So much to look at, so much going on. Quite impressive, really. Oh, head tracking's gone mental. I think my battery must have run out again. Go oh. straight. <laughs> Please look forwards. Thank you. <laughs> oh, this is going to make putting the uh, trailer away quite tricky, isn't it? Stay right, and then turn right. Turn right. What oh, there? Oh man, distracted by the uh, head tracking situation. It's so weird. What's going on? Oh, 
I'm assuming it's a battery related issue. I'm going to fully charge it up before I make the next episode. Because this is uh, quite awkward. <laughs> Gotta hope this is the right place. Trailer damage 2 3%. What the hell? What happened to the trailer? I can't see a thing. What happened to the trailer? I don't I don't know where I'm dropping this off. I'm going to have to do it like this, guys. You have arrived at your destination. Your route guidance is now finished. Oh, it's quite tight this one. I may be pressing uh, enter and have the computer park this for me. Is it a caterpillar? I'm not convinced now actually. Oh god. I never park it like this. This could be tricky. Am I too close to that one? Yeah, just. Get that bloody message out of the way. I can't see. Stupid game. Pretty good, pretty good, considering my head tracking ran out of battery at the wrong moment there. Good work. We did damage the trailer a little bit. Again, I blame that on the head tracking running out of battery. But, first experience of Washington, pretty good, I've got to say. 148,000 in the bank. Do I go for property? Let's have a little look here. Oh, my overdraft has been settled. So at the minute, I don't owe the bank anything. So let's go to the bank. Oh, okay. So I can I can borrow a hundred thousand. I've already got a loan of 200,000. I haven't paid it off at all. So 100,000 would give us 250,000. Maybe we could buy a truck with that. Hmm. I have a think about that and do it in the next episode. Guys, thank you for watching. See you in the next one. Goodbye for now.